Some big news this weekend as it relates to the Binance US SEC case as well as the Coinbase SEC case. We're going to start with the Binance news and then we're going to move over to the pretty, I would say, dramatic Coinbase development that's going on right now. You might have heard of it. You might have not. But let's jump into this video. Please hit that like button on the way in. And there it is, everybody. There it is. Binance SEC strike deal to move all U.S. customer funds, wallet keys back on shore for some just Quick context, a proposed deal responds to an SEC motion to freeze all of Binance U.S.'s assets while it pursues the exchange on securities-related charges. As you know, Binance straight up going after, or SEC straight up going after Binance U.S. earlier in the week. The regulator said it was concerned that funds could be moved offshore or records destroyed if it was not granted a, a temporary restraining order. Binance attorneys came back, pushed back, saying that freezing all assets would amount to the death penalty and as many of you might remember, the judge of this case right off the bat was like, all right, guys, everyone, just come to some type of agreement here. Come up with a deal. Here's the headline for today. SEC strikes deal to move all U.S. customer funds. The proposed agreement addresses the SEC's motion for a temporary restraining order, but still needs judicial sign-off. So hopefully that sign-off comes. According to proposed agreement, which still needs sign-off from the judge, Binance US will take steps to make sure no officials from Binance Holdings, the global exchange, have access to private keys for wallets or hardware wallets or root access to Binance.us's AWS tools. Other provisions in the proposed agreement will see Binance.us create new crypto wallets that global employees have no access to, provide additional information to the SEC, and agree to an expedited discovery schedule. The word expedited, I don't know about you, but in all of these cases that are going on with SEC, even you think of Ripple, hopefully things are expedited. Hopefully we're not sitting around as just crypto people in the crypto space waiting just endlessly for years for some type of guidance and decision in all of these cases. The proposed agreement, if accepted, will address some of the SEC stated concerns as a broader lawsuit it files works its way through the judicial system. I don't know what, what headline's bigger. This one, and, and we, were, we already knew they were working on a deal, right? With the Binance US SEC case. But then there's this one, Coinbase versus SEC. Judge Fila takes the reins as swap raises eyebrows. So Meta Lawn Man over here on Twitter just broke it down really nicely. I'm going to kind of break it down as well. A new judge has been assigned to the SEC versus Coinbase case in New York federal court to replace rookie judge Jennifer Reardon. And now there's potential speculative reason for this, which we're going to go over in a minute. But I would say this is a brand new case and this happening right off the bat amongst everything else going on in crypto and a lot of just the concern that crypto ha holders have in terms of what is going on with all of these cases. Is there manipulation in play? A switch in judge this early on, I don't know if that's normal in, in the law world, but it's happening and that's something that is raising our eyebrows. Judge Fila was appointed by President Obama. So here are some things about Judge Fila. She's currently handling a civil action brought against Tether and Bitfinex, alleging they use USDT to manipulate the price of cryptocurrencies. She has approved discovery requests for documents showing whether USDT is backed one-to-one. -one. So she's overseeing a case as it relates to Tether. This means she will have some familiarity with crypto terminology and the operation of crypto trading markets. No reason for the switch appears in the court's docket. So there's no reason. This is purely spec speculation, says Meta Lawn Man. But Judge Reardon worked at the Gibson Law Gibson Dunn firm before taking the bench six months ago. Gibson Dunn represents Binance in the other major SEC case. So while it's a stretch, she may have just decided to recuse herself from the Coinbase case. I don't even think that's a, a stretch. I think that makes complete sense. If this firm that she worked at is now representing Binance in the Binance SEC case, that connection just seems too close, right? Too close to home. So that really does make sense. I think I saw a comment somewhere. Um, here we go. That was a fast reassignment. I bet Judge Reardon is a Coinbase customer or investor. Could you imagine if, if the original judge that was assigned here is a customer of Coinbase using the app or an investor in Coinbase, maybe a crypto investor 
So you, you, I really didn't think about any of those things. So that's that's kind of a a different perspective to think about as all of these cases go on. Um, and so these are pretty big deals happening right now. Uh, when it comes to Bitcoin crypto charts in general, I didn't really see much of a move. Um, this is an hourly chart on Bitcoin. There was a little pop up here that could have been when the news was was kind of coming out on the hourly, and then we kind of just retraced. But either way, there hasn't been any type of crazy major pump in the markets because of this news. But either way, this has been a wild week for crypto that we just went through. So these developments that are kind of coming into play, I think are just little steps forward in, the, in these cases. So we're going to continue tracking these things as they come out. Please hit the subscribe if you'd like to be in the know as this news breaks. Hit the like button on the way out. Your support really does mean a lot to me, everybody. So thank you for cruising through on a Saturday. I hope you have an amazing weekend. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.